Hi, welcome. I'm uh, Jamie Bruff, Head of Drama at Exeter School. Drama at Exeter School is taken very seriously in both the academic rigour and the creative challenges it presents as an academic subject, as well as the opportunities it offers in the extracurricular life of the school. Increasingly, universities and more importantly employers are recognising the value of the skills a subject like drama cultivates in people. With the world increasingly reliant on AI and automation of tasks, the World Economic Forum identified key drama skills such as communication, cognitive thinking, problem solving and teamwork among the top 10 most desired qualities employers were looking for in applicants. The A-level drama classes typically have between 5 and 10 pupils, allowing for the teachers to give close and detailed guidance to every individual. We follow the EDUCAS specification which provides a nice balance between the academic rigour and practical creativity. The course is 60% practical and 40% written. We have excellent results with 96% of pupils achieving A star to B. The majority of pupils opt for the performance option in the practical work, but we do have an increasing number of pupils taking technical options at A level and being examined on lighting, sound and stage design or costume hair and makeup. As an extracurricular activity, we run Senior School Drama Club on a Friday afternoon which offers skills and challenges which pupils might find useful in the world beyond school. For example, for the last two years, pupils have designed drama workshops themselves and then gone into the community and delivered these 40-minute workshops to primary school children. Every year, there is a senior school production, which is put on a three-year rotation, with a Shakespeare one year, a straight play the next year, and a musical in the third year of the rotation. These productions have built a reputation for being of a particularly high standard, with many people from the industry in the region attending performances. We often have working professionals come in and help in the development process. We like to try and prepare pupils for the world beyond school, and to give them as many opportunities as we can. Last year, we had the National Youth Theatre visit the school, run workshops, and hold individual auditions for Exeter school pupils. Of the 16 pupils who took part, three of them got into the National Youth Theatre last year. There are two teachers within the department who have both come from working professionally within the industry. This means we are fortunate enough to have the experience to help prepare pupils interested in auditioning for drama schools, university or professional jobs. That experience also means that we have many contacts within the industry and we regularly have visiting practitioners to deliver workshops to work with the pupils. These include Frantic Assembly, Complicite, Rum and Clay and Mark Bell, the director of the play that goes wrong. The school is one of a very few in the country that is part of the Complicite Schools network, which allows our pupils access to key figures within Complicite. For example, some of our upper sixth pupils had a Zoom call with the artistic director Simon McBurney during the first lockdown. I can talk for a long time about the benefits of drama here at Exeter School, but it seems like a good opportunity to ask some current pupils about their experiences. I have uh, Dom here, who is a, uh, a lower sick pupil doing uh, theatre studies at A-level. Um, so I'm just going to ask Dom a few questions. Uh, so Dom, what, what A-levels are you doing at the moment? So I'm doing psychology, drama, biology and geography. An interesting mix. An interesting mix, yes. And what, what uh, prompted you to choose to do drama A-level? Well, drama is something that I've always had a quite a big love for. I've, growing up, I did lots of pantomimes and things outside. And when I saw it was available at GCSE, I was just like, I kind of have to get into this. And doing a GCSE just built it up even more how much I really did enjoy doing the subject. Mm -hmm. And I kind of knew from the first year that I was going to try and carry on with A-level. Great. And is there something that you specifically love about doing drama at A-level? I just feel like the team building act like aspect of it. You get to meet a lot of new people who you wouldn't necessarily socialise with in a very like I can't think of a word. In a very um, sociable way. And it's just a great chance to make new friends who you share a lot of good experiences with in a like a practical manner, which you wouldn't normally get to do in a lot of other lessons. Do you feel like there are lots of transferable skills for other subjects as well that complement the other Definitely. subjects that you do? Um, I think the main one for me is confidence. It's helped me build up my confidence, not only in front of other people and like my peers, but also in front of teachers, like asking questions, interesting lessons. And also, analytically, you look behind like, the deeper meaning in drama a lot. So I feel like for subjects such as English, where you have to analyse things a lot, mm. it's a massive help. So for GCSE, 
English, it really helped me with poems, poetry. Yeah. That was a massive thing that helped me be able to study better. Great. And um, outside of sort of the academic drama, are there lots of opportunities that you like to get involved in? Yeah, um, definitely. Drama, there is obviously the school play, which happens most years, obviously coronavirus this year. But overall, yeah, I would always get stuck into the plays, the musical last year, which was really good. Um, there's a short film competition at the moment, which I'm also taking part in, which is just a great chance to get behind the camera and mm. see it from a different aspect. And also, we have a lot of workshops which come with companies, like really good high-end companies, such as Complicite, who wouldn't normally come in and we never normally get to work with. Yeah. But it's just a really good opportunity to work with some real professionals. And like, I think it's the National Youth Theatre is also at school um, to help us, which is just an amazing experience. Do you feel like you have grown up uh, great in confidence enough to and now have a go at auditioning for the National Youth I feel like I definitely have. Drama has really boosted my confidence levels up a lot, and I feel like I could probably go into an audition for the Youth Theatre. Great. And um, is there a sort of a, an overriding memory of doing drama at Exeter School that sticks with you? Yeah, as I said previously in one of the questions, it's more just the team building aspect of it. I just love it, getting practical in like situations. Normally in a lesson, you sit behind a desk, you write, and which is good and all, but you don't get to get up onto your feet and work with people yeah. to the same extent, and it's just a great opportunity to make friends in just like a very nice practical way. Great. Well, thanks very much, Tom, for answering some of the questions, and thank you for listening.